Did you do so many spoilers? Just potato related. Yeah, me too. All potato related. How's everybody doing? You know, it has to do with food for pretty much all characters except Doc. Doc has to deal with the loss of his baby girl being taken away, the fact he went to hell. So yeah, there's food for some people, but for other people, there's... <laughs> there's pain and heartache. There's pain and heartache, yes. How is he dealing with that? Not well. Yeah, not well. Unfortunately, um, well, I think we can't underplay the gravity of what going to hell was like for him. Um, you know, this is hell. This is a guy from the 1800s, too, so hell has more meaning, maybe, too, in the biblical sense than the way people look at it now, but it's hell. It's, it was, you don't want to go back there. And uh, he's now mortal, so... And he's got his his baby girl that he cares about for the first time, you know. So he does not want to go back to hell. And unfortunately, Doc's gonna do whatever he has to do to not go back there. And I mean, unfortunately. So is that what's really driving him the whole season? I think so. You know, I think like season one, it was all about revenge, and season two is about being in love with Winona. And uh, I think. Maybe now he understands that he's never they're never gonna go grow barley like he wanted in that at the end of season two and like he said, let's go grow barley and live in a home. Da, 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 da. That's not gonna happen. I think he knows that now he's his little girl's been taken away and he went to hell, he's mortal and uh, he's scared. He's just scared. Yeah, it's a different dog. <laughs> Still got a mustache though. Well, how do you feel about um, Jeremy's mustache? Yeah, amazing. Yeah, I know. In some ways, I said better. I mean, uh, even Dolls had one kind of uh, episode one. Uh, I love that it was Varun Saranga's choice to have that mustache, which I thought was so great because it shows how much he loves the character uh, and he kind of gets it. My favorite thing about it too is that if you notice. Doc never says anything about the mustache to Jeremy. And you know Jeremy grew that mustache hoping only one person would say something about the mustache and he doesn't say anything. But I do think they're in this they're in such a good relationship that Doc knows that and he just he kind of enjoys the moment of, of not telling uh, uh, Jeremy. With all this stuff going on for him, is there are there gonna be a lot of or any lighter moments for him during the season? I hope so. Uh, you know, I hope, I hope, I think if we can get some Doc and, and, and Jeremy scenes and some and Doc and Dolls scenes, uh, you know, sometimes, the good thing about Doc and Dolls is that even as serious as things are, they still kind of joke each other, joke with each other because that's just their survival the tactic with each other is to kind of bust each other's balls, but it makes things lighter in some sense. Like, things are just going to be heavy with my own. I mean, there's always that elephant in the room, Alice. Uh, and, I, and I think until we get and deal with Alice being there, it's, the, that, that friction is just going to be there. That tension will always be existing between them. So, yeah. Do the scripts still surprise you? Always. Every single time. Yeah. Every single time. But that's just how good uh, Emily and the writers are. Uh, plus, I think it's one of those things, too, where I'm such a fan of the show. Uh, so when I read the scripts, I'm always... You know, and it's not just your own character, right? It's, like, it's, not, it's not like I'm just like, where's Doc? You know what I mean? I'm literally like, I get the script and I'm already like, what just happened? Uh, and it's literally episode to episode. Yeah, and it, every time I think I'm getting close to something, I'm wrong. So I don't even bother anymore. I just go with the flow. What about episode two? Because Shamir, Melody, and you know Emily said that they were blown away by it. It would be the most talked about episode in the history of One on Earth. That's a fact. That's just a, that's not a promise. That's a fact. Good news is I don't think we have to wait too long. Next, next Friday? Yeah. So, you guys are so good at interacting with the fans. It's never interesting one their part of the thing. But how is it for you to interact with them and realize how much of an impact the show has on them and your character has on them? You know, I'm happy you asked me that because to me it's the most important and kind of best part of this whole thing. 
uh, listen, it's it's kind of like at first we, we created the show and then these fans, we kind of, we gave these fans something and they were a part of it and it was great for them to be a part of the show. But now this fandom has been created that's so much more important than us being chased by tentacles. The, 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 the safety and acceptance that this fandom has is so wonderful and now they let us into that. And for that, I'm grateful. Because this year I got to do a lot of these conventions that are like Erper conventions. To have that already is mind-blowing. To think that we'd go to a convention dedicated to this little show is mind-blowing. But to be at these things and just to be a part of all this... Oh, I'm getting like... Stupid, I'm sorry. Um, it was... It, it, honestly, it's, it, like my heart's been touched so many times throughout the year and it's been by the fandom. It hasn't been about being meeting people at Comic Con or being on Entertainment Weekly. It's about being at these fandoms and meeting fans and seeing interactions between people uh, that was so wonderful and so beautiful. No other show has this fandom. And the safety net and the, just the acceptance and it's it's amazing. So I hope this show goes for as long as possible so the fandom can go for as long as possible. Because uh, I think it's really important. And uh, it does feel like sometimes we're in a world of like where everything's really bad right now, you know what I mean? But when I go into a world of Erpers and I go into that world, it's not. It's, it's really a beautiful world, you know?